Hey guys, you've found yourself once again in the Secret Sanctuary, and tonight I thought I would talk about one of my early Comic-Con adventures. This would be probably the mid-1980s. I was very young, um, pretty naive about Golden Age comics, but I knew that I loved them. So I convinced my brother Mark to drive me down to San Diego, where we stood in a short line and I think paid $10 to a guy sitting at a card table in front of the old convention center to get into my first San Diego comic convention. Much different than today when you're paying hundreds of dollars and getting your tickets months in advance and, and all that. This was in the old convention center in San Diego, a much smaller venue, and I remember walking through the doors for the first time. The first booth that I saw was uh, a name many will recognize, Gary Carter, who had, it seemed like hundreds of Mile High Church books, and I paged through many uh, Golden Age actions. I especially remember uh, Action 59 with Superman turning the top off the tank, and uh, Action 63 with him on top of the uh, Japanese airplane. Um, on the right wall was Sparkle City Comics, um, and further back was uh, Mark Wilson, who was uh, operating his world's finest comics at that time. And I remember walking up to his table and seeing one of the most beautiful things I'd ever seen in my life. And it was a high grade copy of Superman number 18 with Superman writing the bomb down towards Germany. And it just looked, it almost had a halo around it. It was just this beautiful thing. The blues were so blue and the whites were so white and then Superman in red across the top. Just one of those incredible books. And I believe he wanted $550 for it. And remember back then, this is before CGC, so it's a raw book. Um, I didn't know it at the time, but Mark had a reputation for touching up his books. Um, so for all I know, it could have been heavily restored. But like, again, I was young, I was naive, and I didn't have the money anyway. It was one of those books for years and years and years. It was the book that got away, just because I loved that cover so very much. I think I ended up going to Sparkle City and I bought a, a Batman 3 in like VG condition, which also ended up being restored. Uh, the top right corner had been replaced, but again, I was too young to know what I was doing. And later on the same day, a dealer pointed it out to me, but I didn't care. I mean, I think it was about $275, and I felt like I'd gotten a bargain. So, uh, and I later ended up trading that book to my brother for a Batman 8, which is another book that I love, the, the Batman Infinity cover. But this, this story does have a good ending, because years later, um, in fact, probably seven or eight years later, a prominent Superman collector decided to sell his high-grade Superman 18. And luckily he knew of my passion for the book and he offered it to me. So I have my CGC 8.5 copy of Superman 18. And I just love this book. It's one of those books that it's just a keeper. Um, I think if I ever sell my comics, this will be one of the last ones to go. Uh, it's just a wonderful book, and I don't really even think about the value. I just love this comic book. So that's my uh, memory of a, an early San Diego comic convention. Thanks for clicking on this, guys. I hope you liked it. And uh, if you're interested in gold, silver, or Bronze Age comics, please check out my website, www.detective27.com.